Hi everyone, welcome to this short video on creating a file cabinet style page for your Google site. Well, before we start uh, constructing it, let's take a look at what it would look like and how we might use it. So here we have a file cabinet style page and we have some examples of how people may have used these file cabinet style pages. Basically, it's a great place to store and organize all kinds of digital material that your users may need. They could be documents, presentations, images, PDFs, all kinds of stuff. If we scroll down and take a look at the basic body of that, we have a place now where we can add files, we can move those files around, we can remove them, and we can even subscribe to changes anytime someone adds something and be notified. Here we have a couple of documents that have been uploaded for users to come and get. We can even create folders and organize things around folders. Now, unfortunately, they don't put them in the folder. They simply list it below the folder. So let's take a look at this file cabinet style page and how we create that. Let's go back to our sandbox tutorial here that we've been working on, and we'll come up and create a new page. We'll give that uh, page a name. There we go. File cabinet style. And again, down below, we can choose from a, a number of different styles that Google has prepared for us to use. The web page style, which is a, a blank canvas. Put anything you want on it. Most popular. The announcement style page. Here's our file cabinet and the list style. So let's select file cabinet style. And down below we can actually uh, select a location to put that page. I normally don't uh, work with this area. I come back later on and, and manually place this page where I'd like to put it. So I'm going to click on create. So the cabinet style page now comes up for our site. Google automatically places it on the navigation bar for us. And if you'd like to learn how to customize that navigation bar, I have a short video on how to do that. You can actually reorganize uh, how those are listed and even remove and add pages to that navigation bar. And that's called Customize Your Navigation Bar. So let's take a look at this file cabinet style for a moment. If we come up and click on the Edit button, that gives us an opportunity to type in some instructions or give some guidance to our users on, on how to use this page if you'd like. Let's go ahead and click on Save. And here's now where we begin to build our cabinet style page. We can bring up any documents that we wish to our file cabinet style page. So let's do that. Let's add a file. And here we can search our computer for the file. We can actually go to the web if there's one on a URL and we can provide a file description for that. Let's go get a document that we have. Here are some documents in a folder that I have. And there we go, we've got some documents here. Here's a little document, and I'll open that up. I could type in some instructions here. I'm not going to do that right now. I'll show you what happens when I don't. I'm gonna upload that file. So it gives us a little icon in terms of what style of a page it is gives us the title, gives us the size, the version, when it was done, and, and who put it up there. Notice this space is blank. If I click on this space, I can actually now come back and give a file description. Sometimes the name of files are not very descript. So, so I'll just type in description, click on save, and you can see now that we can actually type in a description. Let's bring up another file. We just click on Browse, and we find a file that we'd like to bring up. Here's a PDF. I'll bring up that PDF and just type in description. Anything that you want. Description of PDF. And there we go. We've got a couple of documents up there. Now, if I'd like to start organizing this using a folder, all I have to do is click on New Folder. Give that folder a name. And a folder will appear. Now all I have to do if I want to start organizing things under folders, let me add one more folder here real quick. Now I have a couple of folders here. 
I can go ahead and check, move that to new stuff, and now that document will appear under that folder. In other words, another way of organizing your material. Let's take that other one and let's move that to old stuff so I can begin to organize our, my files that way. Now, if I no longer want a file up there, all I have to do is to select it and click on the delete button and it will be gone. Again, if for some reason you don't really want to use this file cabinet page any longer or make a mistake in creating it, all you need to do is when that file cabinet page is up, go to more actions and select delete page. Or you can simply remove it from your navigation bar. And again, I said I had a, as I said earlier, I have a video on customizing your navigation bar. You can simply remove it from there. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. Have a good day.